Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another part in our AVR assembly tutorial series. In this video, we will be exploring inputs and outputs on different ports for your assembly microcontroller. So when you're physically handling your device, there are certain ports and certain pins that you'll want to, ser to serve as inputs and certain pins that you'll want to serve as outputs. So in this video, I will show you how to do that and how to use these different pins in the ways in which you want to. So let's just start by creating a very basic loop. So we've discovered loops in a previous video, so you can return to that if you do not remember how to use them. But here I'll give a basic overview. So here we have the start tag and then underneath we're just saying our jump back to start. Now, what we're going to do is let's just start by incrementing register 16. So let's increment register 16. Then below here, let's load register 17 with the value FF. All right, and you'll see why we're doing this in a little bit. Let's also load register 18 with the value of 00. zero. And I know that register 18 is already initialized with the value of 00, zero but we're just doing this for completeness. Then below, we're going to say out DDRC R18 and out DDRB R17. Now, what is this doing? So these DDR registers serve as directives to tell the user, to tell the microcontroller which direction data is going. So each of these requires eight bits and each of those bits is a different pin on the port that is being defined by the DDR register. So if I'm saying out DDRB, we're looking at port B and all eight bits of port B. If I'm saying out DDRC, we're looking at port C and each of port C's eight bits. Now, a one on any of those pins or any of those bits is input and a zero, sorry, a one on any of those pins is output and a zero on any of those pins is input. So when I'm saying out DDRC R18, what I'm saying is that I want, I want port C, all of the pins on port C, to be set to zero, which means that all of the pins on port C will be set to input. And when I say out DDRB R17, I'm setting all of the pins on port B to output because each of those pins is set to one. Because as you remember, OXFF correlates to the binary code for one 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 which is all ones and equates to OXFF. So now that we've determined whether port B and port C will serve as inputs or outputs, let's start loading and returning values from them. So we can say out port B R16 and let's say in R19 pin C. So what's this doing? So as I mentioned before, port B has been set to an output because all of its pins have been set to one. So now we can output data onto port B using R16. And we'll see that data moving in real time. And then since port C has been set to an input, we can input data into register 19 from pin from from port C. So now let's see this running in real time. All right, so I have the registers here visible and then I also have the mapped IO here so we can see this this data moving in real time. So let's just step through each of these. So here we can see R16 increments by one. As we said, we're loading R17 with OXFF. Now we're going to output to port DDRC 
which is the value zero, which is already initialized to. So we don't see a change there. And then for DDRB, we're outputting OXFF and we can see that data changing in real time. And we're gonna be outputting to port B since it's been set to an output port. Each of those pins are output pins. We're setting each of them to R16, which is 01. Now we're inputting into R19, 00, because pin C is all 00. And as we can see, there's absolutely no change. And let's just jump through that again. A little faster, we can see this data changing in real time. So when you're physically working with your AVR microcontroller, you can individually select which bits you'd like to serve as inputs and which bits you'd like to serve as outputs. I hope this, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. This has been Steam Code, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.